we are not afraid of break the robot. We just the breaking the robot is our purpose to improve our design. For humans, it's pretty obvious that snow presents a lot of challenges. For Big End, actually, snow makes things easier. Our winterized model of Big End is actually almost identical to the one we used in the summer. The only thing we did is we changed our material from poster board to corrugated plastic. And with new kind of chassis, the Big End can handle much better with weather like snow and even rain. We want the Big End to be very low cost and it can be fast fabricated. The big reason is we want to achieve a sense that called mechanical evolution. There are really amazing advances now in processing, sensing information in robot, processing LiDAR information, visual information, all sorts of tools that allow the robot to see the environment and plan what it's doing. Big End doesn't do any of that, but by virtue of having six legs, it's very stable and it doesn't need any of that sophistication. And we see that also in the animal world. The nervous systems of most arthropods are substantially simpler than our own. Robotics is still a very new field, and there's a lot of space for new ideas, and especially ideas about how to make robots simpler and less expensive. If we want the opportunity that robotics offers to, to make big changes in people's lives and in how how we interact with our environment and potentially go out to space, we need to rethink the ways we build our robots. Big End is our foray to see how far can we get in terms of performance with low quality, inexpensive materials and very little in the way of fabrication tools.